know, little kitty. You have been eating a lot of junk lately. Please cut it down and do some exercise. Then start caring if you don't want to be obese. Well, in that case, let me explain to you about this challenging condition called obesity by answering a crucial question. What causes obesity? Zoom in! Your weight is important. That's why doctors keep an eye on it every time you visit for a checkup. As too much or too little weight can be a matter of concern. But these days, being overweight is more common than being underweight. And obesity has reached epidemic levels in developed as well as in developing countries. But the vital question is, what does it mean to be obese? Well, when people talk about being overweight or obese, they mean that someone has more body fat than is healthy. Although having some level of body fat can be okay, but having it in excess can lead to many health issues like pain in bones and joints, shortness of breath while performing day-to-day -day tasks, restlessness while sleeping, etc. Not only that, but excess fat can also increase the chances of getting cardiovascular diseases like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and diabetes. And even if someone is free from risks attached to it, there are chances that overweight kids may feel conscious about their self-image and might be teased or feel bad about themselves, leading to psychological problems like anxiety and depression. But the critical question is, how and why do people become obese? Well, several factors contribute to obesity. The most common of them can be poor diet habits, lack of exercise, heredity, or a combination of all of them. But in some instances, too much weight gain may be due to an endocrine problem like type 1 diabetes or intake of certain medicines. So, this brings us to a vital point. What can we do to prevent or control obesity? Well, the best way to keep a healthy weight is through staying active by playing in your backyard or joining a sports team. If your schedule or other things stop you from playing, then you can get some extra exercise just by taking the stairs instead of the elevator or walking instead of traveling through vehicles. Also, it's essential to watch less TV and play fewer video and mobile games to be more active. And the most crucial part of staying fit is to eat a healthy diet. Yes, make sure to eat various foods and get five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. Try to choose water, natural juice, and low-fat milk over soda and other sugary drinks. And when it comes to high-calorie and high-fat foods, eat them only once in a while in small portions. And if you're still struggling to control your weight, then make sure to talk to your parents or guardian who can make an appointment with a doctor. The doctor may suggest ways of changing your eating and exercising habits. But remember, my friends, if you know someone with weight problems, please do not tease them at all and make sure to be kind. Instead, be a champion by encouraging them and exercising and eating healthy together. Trivia time! Did you know obesity affects one in six children in the United States? 
Yes, around 17% of American children ages 2 to 19 are obese. That's more than 12.7 million American children. So, it's the responsibility of parents to enforce a healthier lifestyle at home so that many obesity problems can be avoided. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Good job, Kitty. <laughs> Never mind.